What's up there viewers and welcome to this new video by Games Matrix. Um, so in this new video I'll be showing you how you can completely take apart uh, any HP Pavilion 15 P-series computer. Now um, it's pretty simple for any HP Pavilion 15, it's just um, taking out some screws and you don't even need to apply any force or anything to just take it apart, it's pretty simple. And it's one of the things I like about this laptop and yeah, some things I hate about this laptop. As you can see it's pretty compact. You don't have any access to the RAMs, to the uh, hard drive, nothing. It's completely sealed. It's like a unibody laptop. Yeah, expected. Anyway, first thing to do is to um, prepare all the things you need, just like a, a multi-headed screwdriver and a case opener, but I don't have that, so I'll be just using a flat-headed screwdriver to pry up the thing. Now, if, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to basically clean my laptop and a lot of people don't know how to, how to clean their laptop from the inside like cleaning the fans and such. Uh, some people use um, compressed air but I hate to use that. And here's also one thing to note, there, ha there has been a dust storm that hit the place and the laptop is pretty much dusty and I'm pretty sure the fan is covered with dust right now so I just want to clean it. The reason is the intake is on top. HP Pavilion P series intake is on the top in the near the WASD, so we're gonna see a large um, field of dust in this area once we take it out. Now the the, uh, the steps of taking out the of taking apart the laptop is pretty simple. Just remove all the screws from the bottom, remove all the screws near the optical drive bay. You don't you don't even need to remove the optical drive bay, and then just pry off this top plate and disconnect all the cables. Now it's pretty simple. Some people have a hard time assembling this laptop due to some due to some hidden screws, but it's pretty simple. I'll be showing you all of their locations now. So let me let me just get the screwdriver I need. All right. Okay, so I guess um, let's begin. Make sure the laptop is off, unplugged, and just remove the battery okay now I'm gonna start with the battery screwed with the battery screw so just unscrew all of them and now um, for the for the next screws we have uh, four screws here, two, uh, two here and two here. So to to get to those, just remove the rubber feet and place them like here. Doesn't matter. Just make sure that you don't lose them. Without the rubber feet, your laptop um, back is gonna be all scratched and things. So I remove the screw. Remove this cold plastic over here. Put the screw like, in it so you don't displace it and take this screw over here. Now do the same thing for the other part. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same for this part. Remove the rubber feet. Alright, now there's also one more hidden screw that's right under this Hold on a second, let me zoom this. There's a hidden screw right under this sticker, so just pry it off with your hand, stick it here, and remove this screw. Now there's, um, that's pretty much all the hidden screws in the computer. Don't worry, there's no hidden screw in this area, it's okay. Again, put the screw somewhere safe. And now you can take the optical drive disc, optical drive, sorry, um, screw and you need to pull the optical drive bay now because i use a custom uh, drive bay so i can have another hard drive in it i'm just going to remove this plastic piece as you can see it's okay and there are three screws in this area um they are flat screws so you might have a hard time um, taking them out you need a really small screwdriver head all right so it took a couple of tries off the camera but I managed to take it out and now let's go and continue and remove all the screws here 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 and basically all the screws on the 
on the back of the laptop. All right, so let's begin. All right, now just store all the screws in a safe place and do a quick check. All right, all the screws are out. And yeah, I forgot an SD card inside. That could cause issues. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we need to take apart the case. Now for the hardest part, which is to pry off this one. Now I always pry my laptop from this side doesn't really matter but because the side um, I feel like it's easier to pry it off from this side now slowly remove the case don't like just pull out, pull it out because there are some um, cables attached to it. Okay, now don't pull it out completely. There are some ribbon cables below, so slowly insert your hand and just. Remove the um, the small lid and pull the cable. Do the same for there. Are, there should be three cables down: one for the um, power button, one for the keyboard, and one for the mouse keys. Just remove them, and you should be able to lift this off. All right. So this is basically the entrance of the laptop. Here I have my SSD installed, and here I have my secondary hard drive in this uh, cool little hard drive caddy. And this is the fan. As you can see, it's really dirty. So yeah, now you can basically just clean your computer and just put it apart. So this was a pretty quick video showing you how you can um, take uh, take apart the HP Pavilion um, P laptops. Uh, all of the P series laptops are pretty much the same uh, when it comes to like where the screws are and how you take it apart. So this should work with any P laptop. This is the P04 something NE. So yeah, it should work with any P laptop. Now, if you want to remove the motherboard, it's a bit tricky, but it's also easy. Just remove the screen ribbon cable, the speakers, remove the Wi-Fi card, remove um, the uh, the optical drive connector and the hard and the USB port connector and finally the SATA connector from the motherboard and take all the screws out once you pull it out you're gonna see there's a small um, cable over here which is the power cord cable remove it and you will have access to the RAM and the CPU and uh, GPU so what you can do is uh, you can do what I did in my previous laptop which is to take apart the heatsink and remove the old um, thermal compound and install a new one which actually reduce the temps in a really good way so you can do that it's all up to you but again this was a pretty quick tutorial on how you can take apart and actually pebble on p now if you want to put it back in it's pretty super easy just slide in hold on let me show you oops it's pretty easy just slide this one in connect all the cables it's a tight fit but you can do it and then just click it all and put the screws back all right so thanks for watching please don't forget to leave your comments subscribe and ask me any question in the description below and goodbye